Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sporty's Flight Simulator Product Pyreps. Today we're going to talk about the Airbus Throttle Edition for the Honeycomb Bravo. Now this is uh, an Airbus focused throttle pack that's been out for, I'd say about six months now, but it is a really nice compliment if you have the Honeycomb Bravo throttles. The levers, which originally come with GA or commercial, easily come off and you apply these Airbus levers that, as you can see, are very similar to the levers on an Airbus 320neo. A couple of the cool features about these levers are, uh, the first one I like to highlight, and it was a surprise to me, is that you'll find little divots in uh, lever three and lever four travel of the Honeycomb Bravo. And at first it doesn't make sense why those are there until you plug in the Airbus throttles. There is a mechanical stop gap there to keep you from going into thrust reverser mode. And once you pull this back, you are then eligible to go into thrust reverser mode. Once these are down, there is no physical way you can go there, but once they're retracted, you then have that added ability to go into reverser mode. And that is a great thought that when the Bravo came out, like I said, maybe a year ago, they already had that built in even though products weren't coming out really taking advantage of it for another six or seven months. So a uh, unique feature about those. Uh, on the left, we have the speed brake already configured. Here it is fully retracted and here's fully engaged. Over here we have our flaps. Another unique thing about the Airbus flaps for the Honeycomb Bravo is on the inside is a spring tension piece with a little bit of silicone on the underside. So it's actually very difficult to move these when they're down or extended. When you retract the spring, it easily slides to whichever area you want. Uh, I believe that's pretty close to what's in the actual Airbus uh, styled throttles and it keeps you from accidentally moving it if you bump it or something of that sort. So another detail they paid attention to. Uh, here we have our auto thrust uh, cancel buttons, the red on the sides. Uh, with a little bit of configuring, you can get those set up to actuate the simulator in the same way. And as you can see, this is set up for a two engine Airbus aircraft. Well, what if we wanna get in a four engine? Well, we have that option too. I'll go ahead and remove our dust covers and then we have two additional levers which are included in the entire set. And it's gonna take a little bit of configuring. You'll, you'll see the thrust reverser knob right here. It comes off magnetically. So we'll put these up here. Now these two new pieces, they have magnetic covers that we then apply to the internals. And the reason we do this is you wouldn't be able to put these new levers on the outside if we had the uh, auto throttle disconnect still attached. So we make sure that we've removed those, we apply these, and then we are able to go ahead, configure these, reincorporate our auto thrust disconnects, and we now have a four engine setup for our Airbus aircraft. in no time. Again, we stop there and we can go on thrust reverser. So this is a really nice add-on. If you have the Honeycomb Bravo, uh, they are available at sporties.com. And we also have configurable videos. If you do buy these pieces, you don't wanna go through the trial and errors of trying to configure them based off the default. We have videos that will show you how to do a two engine and then also a four engine configuration for Airbus styled aircraft. We hope this was helpful, informative, and as always, enjoy digitally flying.